I am absolutely fucking gutted. Honestly, that first half performance was abysmal. It was shocking. <sighs> and it pains me to admit it, but on the course of the match, they probably did deserve to uh, deserve to win. Like they, they were better in the first half. We were better in the second half overall, but it just wasn't enough. It was too little, too late, unfortunately. And one of the only consolations, although it's such a massive boost for Manchester City, not just the three points, the psychological advantage, like I said before the game, it is only the fourth week of the Premier League. So there's plenty of points to be picked up and lost, but it is just very disappointing. We um, we were shocking in the first half. Manchester City blew us apart with the way they played. Um, but surprisingly, one of their goals was uh, the most anti-Pep Guardiola goal you'll ever see which uh, is kind of surprising for the way they were playing in the first half. But um, yeah, it's basically a mistake from uh, Daily Blind. He's been so calm and composed at the back for us. And uh, it was just just one of those things. And he actually flicks it on to De Bruyne, who I did pinpoint as Manchester City's main threat in this game. He's been quiet this season, but he's got obvious world-class ability. And he showed it in this game, and he was the difference maker, unfortunately. And he slots it in. It's a brilliant finish uh, through one-on-one -on -one with David De Gea, who... Made a couple of good saves, but again, didn't have too much to do, even though there was a lot of efforts for both sides. It was a classic derby, to be perfectly honest, but, um, you know, without Aguero, it's disappointing that we weren't able to, to do anything. In the first half, the, the three players going forward that weren't very good were Lingard, Rooney and uh, Mkhitaryan. Lingard and Mkhitaryan were brought in for this derby, in for Mata and Martial. It's a bit gutting that Rashford didn't start. He perhaps deserved to, and he showed instantly in the second half what an impact he had. But um, I, I heard a lot of Manchester United fans criticising Fellaini again. He's a scapegoat for every single game, but he was one of our better performers again. Like, they just look at the, the slight fouls he gives away, but he was positionally pretty good. I mean, <laughs> to be fair, De Bruyne run rings around everyone in our midfield, like Pogba, Fellaini, they were getting forward quite a bit, so it was leaving massive gaps, and De Bruyne, Silva, the interlinking play was uh, just too much, but as I say, the second goal for City uh, was, a, was a ball pumped long, and I'm pretty sure if it didn't go in, Pep Guardiola would have been screaming at his players that that isn't what they're supposed to do, but um, I think it was Kolarov, pumped it forward, comes to De Bruyne again, he hits it off the post, they get a little bit of a look, Ineachos are play, being played onside because of Daily Blind, and uh, yeah, it's 2-0, and from then on in, we left ourselves with a mountain to climb, but just before the half-time whistle, we had two or three chances, and one of them is a ball from deep, it's a free kick, Rooney whips it in, Bravo mishandles, and uh, Ibrahimovic volleys it in. To make it five goals for Ibrahimovic, but 2 1, we got the momentum. Then there was a clear swing um, in momentum, and we had a couple of other chances. Again, I think uh, Bravo mistimed his, uh, his lunge when Lingard was running through, and he played the ball to Ibrahimovic. And I, I just think Ibrahimovic thought it was a free kick, and uh, he, his shot was a little weak. If he didn't think it was a free kick, he perhaps would have taken a touch and smashed it in, but unfortunately. Uh, we went in half-time 2-1. One, uh, one. In the second half, we had a couple of chances again. Rashford was brought on, so was Herrera, and they made a fantastic difference for us. We just couldn't get the elusive second goal. We did put the ball in the net, however, in the second half. Rashford, some brilliant work, but unfortunately, it ricochets off Ibrahimovic and goes in. Ibrahimovic was offside. It was a correct call. We perhaps should have had a penalty. Um, again, I'm not going to use this as an excuse whatsoever, but um, when Bravo studied Rooney, when again he made a, another stupid error where his touch was far too long, Rooney went in for it and Bravo clattered into him. And if uh, you know Klattenberg had been a bit closer to the scene, he he might have gave the red card because last man goal scoring opportunity, all that penalty. But regardless, it wasn't given. But Claudio Bravo did look shaky, and I'm disappointed that we didn't take a few more long range efforts. You know, give him give him something to test. Although we had a few other half chances, Ibra, Pogba, late on, literally um, just couldn't get enough power on it. You know, it's disappointing. It is disappointing. But there's slight positives 
as I say, if we didn't capitulate for that first 40 minutes, if we were actually in the game, we wouldn't have left ourselves with a mountain to climb and we would have been a bit better. Against other opposition, I think that lineup that we that we had, maybe put Rashford in for Lingard, when Mkhitaryan actually starts getting into his rhythm, because he is a world-class player, he was very poor in this game, but it's his first game, he just came back from a rushed injury that he rushed to be fit for, so... um. Wouldn't worry about his performance too much. We, we've seen what he can do for Borussia Dortmund. And yeah, we just have to focus on the positives. It's incredibly disappointing. I really wanted us to make a statement against Manchester City. But unfortunately, Manchester City were the team to make a statement against us. And now they're 12 points for 12. We're 9 for 12. So we've already got a little bit of a gap opening up. And we just need to make sure it doesn't become wider. We focus on our next game and we win it get back in and do what we can because this title race is still wide open it's only four games in but you do feel it's a pivotal point and we just need to just need to be a bit more clinical and um not capitulate in the first 40 minutes very disappointing but as i say you know there's not much else to put on so uh yeah i'm just going to end the video to be fair 2-1 you know the score so uh hopefully you have enjoyed subscribe if you haven't already like the video and yeah peace